In Resolve 17, Blackmagic Design introduced the easy way to do picture in picture within the software it's using a Resolve FX called Video Collage. Now, this allows you to easily create uh, picture in picture videos using as many videos as you want. Um, sure, it's limited by the power of your computer, but you could easily do three, four, five, six different videos picture in picture. And I actually, back in November, released a video that did a quick kind of speed run on using video collage to show how quickly you could create a five video picture in picture uh, project and I was able to do it in around a minute with one video as the background and the other four as picture in picture four different quadrants so in this video I'll show how I did that uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, pretty simple but you start off by well find the video collage effect over here under the effects toolbox it's under open FX and it's one of the transform FX so kind of once you've located it, get your clips ready. So I have my five clips here. So what you want, basically want to do is you're going to be stacking them on different tracks. You're going to have five different tracks. You start off by doing that by adding your video clips. So I'm going to use this desert scene as the background. So you want your background to be the top clip. I'm going to put all the other ones first down in their tracks. So I'm going to add them one at a time here. So I have video one. And I can kind of rearrange this so I have a little more room. All over there, and I can just add four more tracks. So I'll right click in a blank area here, go to add tracks. I'm gonna add four more video tracks, and I'm gonna have them above video one. So I'll click add tracks, and I can scroll down. So I'll add my second track. So I'll come up here to add them one at a time. up my fourth track and then I'm going to add the one on top will be the one that's uh, kind of behind everything else so I'll come up here and add this desert one is the very top track that'll be video five then I'll hit shift Z to get it to fit within the timeline here and then I'm going to basically change the length of all these to the shortest video just for this demonstration so I'll go to each one of these shorten the clips up Roll about the same length. I have the backing one here. Bring it down. Then again, hit Shift C so I can see all my tracks. So here I have my five tracks stacked on top of each other. So you're going to basically be adding the video collage effect to each of the tracks, but you're going to set up the top one to be the background, and the other four will be in the four windows. So I'll demonstrate that now. So I'm going to add the video collage and kind of get a preview here by going over top of it. So I'm going to drag that to the top track here. And that sets it up the very basics. So what we have now is the top track is the background, and now we have spaces for the other four tracks to go into. So probably the easiest way to do this is just kind of have it set up basically here. And I'm going to add the view collage effects to the track right below it. And then this one I'm going to set up, and then I'll be able to copy its uh, settings to each of the other three videos to make it really quick. So I'll make sure that this Video 4 is selected. Now I'm going to come up here to the inspector and make sure that that's activated here. Make sure that's on. And you want to come over to the effects. And you see under video collage. So right now, the top track is background. So you can just kind of leave that as it is. We could tweak that later and set some of its settings. Or come to the, the fourth video here. Now instead of background, now this is going to be a tile. So you click create tile. And by default, it put it up here in the upper left, but you want to come over here and click on the tiles button. And here you get to choose which one is the active tile and which track is going to go where. So tile one is this upper left corner. So I'll choose tile one, but if you want to put it in a different spot, you just you have your four different options here. So I go to three, I can put it in any of the spaces, but for this, I'm going to put it in tile one. And again, you have other settings here you could go through you could add a drop shadow and you could set up different styling here and different settings but right now i'm just going to basically copy this and paste it on to the other three videos so i'm going to right click click copy and i'll scroll down and highlight the other three videos the, the first three uh, tracks here 
And I'm going to right click on one of them and go up to paste attributes. And I want to make sure that I have plugins selected because this is a plugin. I click apply. Now the other three have that effect applied to it, but now we just have to set them up. Go over each one step by step. So we'll go over to the effects here on the top track and still create tile, but now we're going to make this one tile two, which is the right here. So we'll go tile two. So now that track, video track is tile two. Click on the next one, make that tile three. Then we go to the last one, make that tile four. Okay, and then when you want to change the styling of the, the tiles, come up to the top track. Make sure you're on the tiles button here. And you can go to any of these. You could do a tile styling. So you're all out of tile border and just make it yellow for this example. You can create a border on each of the tiles. And by having this check mark apply to all tiles, it'll do to all four of them here. And you can also come up. And do a drop shadow if you want to so increase the strength of the drop shadow make it really dramatic more subtle change the angle if you want and there's multiple settings you could also keyframe them so if you want these to fade in you have the different animations here you can have them fly in shrink rotate and fade just kind of mess around with these different settings to get the look you want but that is the basics for how to do a video collage to do picture in picture uh, with Resolve 17. I'm actually using Resolve 17.2 here and it's still working very well. So hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.